Good evening and welcome to the Thursday, April 4th, 2024 Scarborough Board of Education business meeting. Um, I am going to uh, take the place of Diane tonight and call the attendance. So Carolyn? Yeah. Brayla? Here. Jenna? Here. Jillian? Can you hear me? Here. Now we can hear yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I couldn't get it to unmute. I'm sorry. That's okay. John. Present. Leanne. Here. And Shannon is here. So everyone's here. Perfect. Um, would everyone please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? And Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Um, I am going to move the adjustments to, uh, to the agenda up. Um, uh, I, I want to go ahead and adjust the agenda, make a motion to table this meeting. But prior to making that motion, I want to have a very quick discussion. Um, so this is a little out of order, and I know this is a little unusual, but um, this weather is a little unusual, so it fits with the theme for the for the last few weeks. Um, so some of this stuff we had already worked on uh, rescheduling. So for example, the unified sports team recognition, we're going to do that at our next meeting anyway. Um, I am going to propose that we keep the second reading of the policy, JLAA Wellness, and our executive session on the agenda. Um, the other things I'm going to suggest that we table, and so my question is going to be, do you think that we should have an extra meeting perhaps on Monday where we do our committee reports, our liaison reports? Um, that's really the only thing that would be outstanding. Or do you want to just hold a second, hold our regularly scheduled April, second April meeting? which is April 18th and do the committee reports at that meeting. Just wanted to kind of take the temperature first. I I'm say we hold off one. Let's and do one. one big one. Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone was talking at the same time saying the exact same thing. <laughs> so we're all we good. We have so just... much going on. Let's just not add one more thing to it and do it all in one. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to make a motion to um, adjust the agenda to to remove everything from the agenda with the exception of the second reading of policy JLAA wellness and the executive session um, 15.1 discussion or consideration of the employment appointment assignment duties promotion demotion compensation evaluation disciplining resignation or dismissal of an individual or group of public officials appointees or employees of the body or agency not to return to public session. Um, do I have a second or do I, do I have a second? I have a second. Okay. okay. Um, any discussion? All right, just so you know, I'm going to not return us to public session so that um, we can let Cheryl and Jeff go um, with, again, with the weather and the power. I know, again, it's unusual, but these are unusual circumstances. Um, so let me, let me call the, the vote. Carolyn? Yes. Frela? Yes. Uh, hold on one second. I need to pause. I have the wrong date for our, it's April 25th is our next meeting. I told you the wrong date. So just for the purposes of minutes. So what we are voting on is tabling everything on the agenda to a our April 25th meeting. Okay, so let me start over again. Carolyn? Yes. Frela? Still yes. Jenna? Yes. Jillian? Yes. John? Yes, sir. Leanne? Yes. And Shannon is a yes, so that's unanimous. Perfect, thank you. All right, agenda item um, four, five then, four then would be the second reading of policy JLAA wellness. Um, Frayla, I, I know you're 
you likely can't have your, your, um, you don't have your notes, but there was no adjustments to this outside of what we had done the last time, which was amend the caffeine, caffeine language. Yeah, actually I do have my notes. Just give me a oh. quick second. We eliminated one bullet point of that, um, one bullet point in the, so we previously had voted on this. I don't have the date of that. I think it was February. I'm um, in that one provision. It was like 1.7 subsection F, I think was a um was the provision for let's go over it. uh that was said that we would not be serving any caffeinated beverages at any point in time in any school and school district um we have a coffee cart at the high school only and um, we put all the reasons about why that was it was limited to just the seniors they have access to caffeine if they want um, by going across the street or driving to, to starbucks or a, a lot of facilities Dunkin' Donuts. I'm not supporting any one of them over the other, but there's a lot of facilities that serve coffee in the vicinity of our schools. Um, and so in order to, uh, for actually safety um, and also to support some of our nutrition programs, um, we we do serve coffee. And so we would need to amend that policy, JLAA, to just delete the provision prohibiting caffeine, which changes the one, the one bullet point that's below it would move up and take its place. And it doesn't make any other changes um, to that policy. Uh, this was discovered during an audit. And so we have to get this finalized so that the audit can be finalized. Awesome. Thank you, Prayla. Do I have a motion to approve the second reading of policy JLAA well, wellness? So moved. Second. Okay, first and second. Is there any discussion? All right, I'll call the vote. Carolyn? Yes. Prayla? Yes. Jenna? Yes. Jillian? Yes. John? Yes. Leanne? Yes. Colby? Yes. Perfect. And I am a yes as well. So that is unanimous. Thank you. All right. Our new agenda item, uh, I think we're on five now, would be the executive session, um, a discussion or consideration of the employment, appointment, assignment, duties, promotion, demotion, compensation, evaluation, disciplining, resignation, or dismissal of an individual or group of public officials, appointees, or employees of the body or agency not to return to public session. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. All right, any discussion? All right, I'll call the vote. Carolyn? Yes. Brayla? Yes. Jenna? Yes. Jillian? Yes. John? Yes. Leanne? Yes. Colby? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. And I am a yes, so that is unanimous. Um, thank you, Colby and Jeff and Cheryl for um, signing in. We really appreciate it. Um, we are going thank to... You. Yes, and you as well, John, as long as, as far as uh, uh, the rest of the board, too. But we're going to say goodbye to Colby, um, Jeff, and Kate, uh, Cheryl, I mean, excuse me, and Kate will stay with us. And we are going to sign in to the second link that we have, which is the um, the executive session link. So if it's either in your um, calendar or it's in the email Cheryl sent to you that had the, the two links. Okay. Make, make sure you make a plug for taking the <laughs> taking the survey, Shannon. Thank you. Oh, yes. If everyone can, um, uh, last minute plug for this that is out, it, they have gone to, um, they've been mailed. So I think I know some people have already indicated they've gotten it. So if anybody is, has received it, we really, really appreciate the survey because we would love to hear from you. All right, and that is about the school building and the vote and um, what really what we're asking the community is what they will support going forward. All right. All right. Thank you so much. I will see you in just a minute on the other link. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. What the hell is wrong with this thing?